with a tone. Oh, okay, trust me, you don't got the long gun go. Stop, go, you got to stand in with an uncle of car on her door. Lady Lucky smiling. Make this fun. It's time to hunt. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Smell their stench. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. This ends now. Minions have spawned.
I guess I probably should actually start talking more on these games. Honestly, they're just sitting here not talking. But, uh, you know, like you noticed in the chat earlier, um, people force your lanes. Seriously, grow up. Because it's a team game, and I honestly could have just been that guy who just completely, you know, forced the middle lane and then gone there, and we'd had a dual middle lane without a jungle. And even considering how bad this comp looks, support cat. Uh, middle Evelyn, like, what the hell? <laughs> um, I mean, you know, our zero already got a kill, like, this is a free win, pretty much, but it wouldn't have been if I would have gone double middle. So, just, you know, people, you're playing a five person game, don't, don't be that person. Call your spot, if someone take, calls that spot, and then call another spot. If you literally cannot play support, then I don't know, learn to play support, or just learn not to play solo. That's all I can say to you guys. An enemy has been slain. Of course, not everyone's like that. Yeah. Now we got two kill spots, so, with our AD carry. So, yeah. but, um, if you guys don't know uh, Warwick, his jungling experience is not even great until 6 for ganks. Until then, you can, you know, try to chase people down with red, but until six, you're not really gonna get ganks off on people. If you want to jungle with him, uh, you can really do any route. I guess blue would go first, just so that you can spam your Q, because it's really mana hungry. And then you have to max out your Q, but the very first point you, point you put into is a Hunter's Call, because that's the best one to jungle. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and also while you jungle, you need to watch this middle portion right here to see if anyone's pushing too hard. If no one is, you can attempt to gank somebody on the outside, or you can invade. Of course, invading's you know, dangerous, you need to be careful about it, but uh, for instance, I can hook around here. This is just going to be uh, trying to gank him. We're going to have to get a snare on that. Oh, goodness gracious. It's time to That's hide. just bad. Let me see if I can chase him down. Oh, sweet. Oh! Getting out of there. Whew. Hopefully you got a kill. No? No? Maybe? Ah, uh, wow. So yeah, definitely as a jungler, if you have these opportunities like that, take them. Addiction got down there. I guess he knew I was gonna hook around, so they took advantage of that. Really didn't work out for us. Uh, Warwick, you can build them multiple ways, but one of the better ways is uh, to build them tanky. And um, I really like Madrid's just because that builds his damage makes them really good but yeah I'm gonna get uh, Mercury Treads to help him out on his magic resist and I always I rush magic just because it helps start getting damage but of course if I'm taking way too much damage and I can't deal anything you know because I'm dead then of course you feel tanky to help you out with that I lost reds my ganks are fairly poor until I'm six Really wish that could be that bad. Also, guys, uh, watching this video, please comment. Any dislikes, likes, if anything, you know, feel like I'm doing something wrong, go ahead and say it. You can enjoy what I'm doing. You know, just comment below. Also, subscribe if you enjoy the videos. I'll be trying to put up one at least every week, so. Of course, I'll try, try to do more. Let's see. And this is either AFK or stupid, I don't know. I don't know why he's just sitting on tower when it's Evelyn of all people. Just destroy this lane. Oh, 
Also, I mean, you guys probably do know this, and I'm not saying, you know, but uh, always be courteous, because in solo, you don't want to make enemies on your team. If you want to win, you need to make friends, so. You'd be surprised. Uh, people will use all chat and turn your own teammates against you by acting friendly, and then they'll, you know, be like, oh, okay. This ends now. <sighs> so. Now I'm level 6. Now this is where the ganks happen. Because Suppress is extremely good. And now I gotta kinda get red as well. So, like, for instance, Kazakh's definitely pushed right now. I thought Wukong was gonna stay. I probably should have just ran. It was definitely my fault. Shin's extremely good. That global makes it. Oh, look. We had a third there. Tad late on that fizz. But it doesn't really matter. It didn't affect anything. Oh, yeah. Magic's razor. It's jungle. That's what you have to get. Of course, the only person I play that doesn't get that is like one Diana. Of course, that's because she's a. Oh goodness gracious! Please double kill them, please. Just please. It's time. Did he seriously back? Ugh. Okay then. Free double kill. Missed out on kill. Also make sure never to, I mean, really neat tip of course, if you play the game you probably know this, but make sure to save snipe, smite for the very last hit, because there's always the off chance that someone tries to do it, either because they know you're there because of ward, or whatever. Oh, and you know, of course, red and blue. Of course, like, later game though, don't always use it, because you can be saving it for dragon and stuff. jungle uh, for you go blue first but unless you're a really mono hunger person you should be always giving that blue to your mid notice here I don't have to use my ultimate because Warwick was able to do an early game dragon. Hold up. This okay. No. Now, I don't. I wonder if it was a bad play on my part to chase down. I'm 
Ezreal instead of stopping Cat from getting him. We would have gone 1 0, probably, if I'd have just chased down Cat. Well, no, she would probably gotten her anyways, because Cat's like. I guess it was maybe the better way to just keep Ezreal. Maybe I should have used my ult earlier so that I had gotten the kill. Another reason why I'm doing these videos because I like to, I'm wanting to review my gameplay more often. So, yes, so I can catch what I'm doing wrong and try to make better better plays. She's she's dead, she's super dead. Yeah, I, I mean that's <laughs> the ultimate's really good. Like even though this fizz was a dick in the beginning, no, can't just. Up, deep, downright mad at him. Oh my gosh, what is with you people being so overextended? And you took a. It's only fun. An ally has been slain. Now that their jungle's gone, though, because he has to back. I mean, he had a bar. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, jeez. Not probably dead. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I don't know sometimes. He call. He probably called it mid. No, she just died and went up to blue. That was my bad for not thinking about Evelyn after we killed her. Thought it was safe since Shin had the back. Yeah, uh, Riggle's Lantern is also a strong pick on Warwick as well, but, uh, you build him out of real life. Honestly, I mean, in the rest of the I don't even like cut cookie cutter builds. Build them the way I like, and I've like every you know when you first start playing, you pick them up as you go on go along, and you check your you know one sides to show your builds. And you're like, oh, okay, this is how I build this guy, this is how I build that guy. But after you play long enough, I mean, I'll I'll just pick up a character and build them how I feel like. You you should start you start learning how to build according to the game, or even just cookie cutter AP specs and stuff like that. Like, you know, one the, the strong full AP type build, you know, is like double Doran's ring and boots boots one and then just rush it, death cap. Start learning those, like, super cookie cutter, you know, specs whenever you don't know how to build something. You just generally build it for all characters whenever you don't know how to build it. Well, he's in my jungle. So. Everybody, turn around. Right. Oh, you flashed? Where? He's gone. Was it flashed with stealth? No. It's always interesting when I play a wall because people make the weirdest choices. Like, why was Kazix here? He's a top laner who should be getting last hits, and he maybe he was trying to invade my jungle. But you know that's Shin's job. You shouldn't be leaving Wukong to be getting last hits. So you know, of course, it's the player aspect, and people make the weirdest of choices. And I don't feel like I'm in some evil hell or anything like that. I'm got a, almost a thousand wins at this point. Yeah, she's so you know it's how she just straight up ran there. That that was a ward, like Our easily. Hunger. So what we could try to do is walk around. She stayed. Yeah. Yeah, she's it's too far on this side. Fun. But Kazix isn't. Fun. Have her. So Kazix should die.
stacking that red buff on him. See, now this is very dangerous. I couldn't run up all the way, but I ran back into their jungle and see, now notice Shin come flying by with that. Oh, he guessed it. Wow, he guessed it. See, that's, that's another play I don't understand because I was, I felt like I was, should be out of range of his dash, but instead he took the risk and went straight at for it because he didn't want to get juked, I guess. Honestly, it felt like it would have saved for going into the bush and then do it, but, you know, yeah, he didn't even give me a chance. And, and also, I missed my hungering strike. I should have hungering strike him as he was entering the bush. It gave me myself some health, but I don't know. Things are happening. I don't know if all junglers do this, but uh, also it's nice to buy like a award or two for like you know how uh, I don't know if she's been dropping wards, but I haven't seen wart, and uh, you know I think they really need help on that. Game does. Just... I'm just winning. Stuff like that's happening. Oh, oh no, no no. Okay, there we go. good job. Ooh. Ooh. So, obviously. Ah. Okay, so he, he should have this. Yep. So that was awesome. Oh, perfect. I didn't even get any kills. Let's see, it's kind of, uh, some people, you know, really get mad about kills, etc., etc. Et but honestly, I don't even care as long as people are we're getting the team goal. But it's great whenever your AP carry and your AD carry are getting the kills over your jungle. So I don't need to be fed. I build tanky. So I just sit there and take hits and deal hits. I shouldn't be doing any extreme amounts of damage. Uh, top, you know, does it's nice to top get kills to the force because they will they, in a way like hyper carry because so how much they get tank. But um, another aspect is uh, make sure, you know, map awareness. No, I'm not being dumb, just saying map awareness. I'm saying um, whenever you notice like a fight going on, you know, and you're like, oh, that's too far away. I'm just going to keep jungling. It's normally not the case. If at all times you want to, I mean, of course, there's like things you're just not going to make to you. You might as well not waste your time. But there's most of the time, like if I was here and I know it's a fight breaking out here, I need to get my butt down there. Uh, because fights normally can last extremely long due to kiting, etc, etc. And, you know, you could come up and make that, you know, 2 to 0, or whatever, just by making your presence. I was trying to watch for that. Oh, so like, see right here, just notice this fight going on. If I wasn't paying attention to the map, I wouldn't have been able to catch this killing cat. Well, maybe I won't get it. Yeah, so I probably should have used my ult. I'm just gonna use my ult. Let's just use ult. So, Ezreal... This way. I'm gonna try to cut him off. Probably blew my flash there. I got a little scared. Shin's damage, you can't really yeah. anticipate it very well. Because that passive it can randomly pop up as you auto attack. Oh! That's, that's really good. We got a legendary fizz. Really good. That's awesome. 
this game's gonna be over. Oh, another thing. Wall build, if you are rushing the Blood Razor, you should not buy the uh, pickaxe first, because Warwick does much better with attack speed, with jungling and dealing damage and stuff like that. Um, you know, damage is nice against uh, uh, I guess I should just help him a little bit. It's always nice for your AD carry to have red as well. Because he has range. I do not. Oh, also, if you have any other questions or you actually would like me to comment on more games, then uh, please say so. And I will do my best. Because honestly, I have. I've had one person comment on my channel so far, so I will probably notice you. <laughs> it's only fun if they run. Mm, we need to. So also definitely trying to make use of uh. Line of sight pushes. Luckily, uh, that ward's watching during for us. I put it way too far. You try to put it on top of that second rock right there. It allows you to see Dragon on top of the fact that it, you know, watch the lane. Mm, I smell that stench. Your team has destroyed a turret. Okay. Good job, go. Very little going on. You can only see two people, so definitely need to watch where you're walking, because it's just yeah, like right here, you know, Shin to jump on Wukong, but look at Wukong, Wukong, you can't really, you know, always catch the tricky little monkey. Oh, another thing. Um, I don't know if a lot of people always catch this, but uh. Don't steal farm from your AD carry. Let them have it. <laughs> They're your main damage source. So. Okay, so I missed the fight going on up here. Which doesn't matter, because they crushed them. Okay, well, I can take you one. I definitely can. Oh. You just set up the floor, so. Oh, there he is. It's snare. And he's dead. Yes, yeah, sorry, I got the assist. I almost took it. I guess our support got it, so. Yeah, let's do. Oh no, let's push this tower. The tower is much more important with, with that many of them down. So, secured the ace. I think. Well, I don't know, maybe we can't push it. So, uh, another aspect, um, I'm just gonna be saying stuff off the top of my mind, so, uh, if you guys don't want me to say such oblivious things, and you think they're oblivious, so please tell me that. Like, I know you guys are thinking. But, um, notice how we got the tower, and then we moved the dragon immediately instead of double pushing tower or going straight for dragon. Because you gotta mediate the two. You can't just straight up push, 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 push until they come up. And you can't just go to Dragon, because you need the push. Pushing is extremely important. A lot of people forget this. And so, for instance, right there, we pushed the tower while we had the advantage, because there was four of them down, and Kazakhs couldn't do anything. Instead, he just died. And then we went back and we, pushed, uh, we took Dragon. I hate leaving minions. Okay. So, uh, they seem... Oh, no. We got the Sender. So, uh, yeah. Quick game. Um... Didn't get the eat fruits the uh, team fights as much, but uh, it's a good game overall. So thank you for watching. Um, actually, I will probably show the ending screen in just a minute. And there we go. All right. Uh,
uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this new common dating system, but uh, it's it's pretty interesting. I don't even know what to hit all the time. Honestly, the same thing. So you should just have something that just says, like, good job. <laughs> Cause, uh, like he wasn't friendly. He definitely did win his lane, but I did help him out in the beginning. No, did I help him out? Yeah, I got the ults on him, so it did help him out quickly in the beginning when he got fed. But honestly, I don't think he deserves it for call, call uh, just straight up stealing mid. Because it's never good to force a lane, because if you have two people fight, you almost guarantee a loss there, because you pretty much turn it into like a 3v5 or 4v5, because two people are just arguing. You're down a decent comp, you know, spot, and it's just a lot. A lot of stuff. Uh, didn't even say a word. On this. Oh, actually, no, he put didn't say. A word on and I don't know. I just honorable opponent everybody. It's, I don't know. And uh, yeah, so that was that match. Uh, uh, I'll uh, be recording more games. Uh, talk to you guys.